We've spoken about the last the last few fights that you, you've had. You've got one coming up in the summer in July as well. Yes. Yes, you're back in, London. Back in it, back in the octagon. Mm-hmm. Um, you're fighting against uh, Julie. I've got to get this right. I can't. Everyone goes to you, but she goes, oh, you don't know. So I was only listening. Yeah, so Julia, Julia Stalarenko. Oh, that's good, that go. one, eh? So you, that, you got her from Lithuania. That. There you go. Yeah. See, I, I probably butchered the name, but no, never. No, mind. I think it was. A yeah, exactly. Yeah. So when you when you look ahead to that fight, then it, it, we we often speak, don't we, about the tools that you have from previous either wins or losses and all mm-hmm. the rest of it. Are you have you got a secret source now in the back of your head as to how you're going to approach this and make sure you do get the W at the end? Yeah. So I feel like. I had three amateur fights, so people would have like 20 odd. I only had three before I had to go professional. Mm. Yeah. And I'd only had eight pro fights before I got signed to the UFC. So a lot of my work was learning on the job. Mm. And Still I, learning. Yeah, yeah, and I feel like the last four fights, I found me, me source, I know my recipe, I know what works for me, and I finally found me timing. Um, obviously, the last fight, she got his stuff off before I got mine and that's all it is some days you're the hammer and some days you're the nail and I just walked into that sledgehammer Mm -hmm. that day and and that's all it was but the stuff that I prepared for with her carries into this fight so it's like this woman was on a competition called the ultimate fighter and when you win that you win like a like four fight contract in the UFC like a six figure deal Mm. and um you have fights every week in the UFC house. So I think she had a couple of fights in the tough house and then got signed to the UFC from that. So she's she hasn't got a positive record in the UFC, um, but she won her last fight via armbar. But what they've basically said is, you're too heavy at this weight and this is why you're not successful. You need to drop down. Yeah, It's safe for you to do so. You haven't cut weight correctly at this weight. You need to cut it correctly to make this weight and you'd be a more optimal fighter. She's a black belt in jiu-jitsu and she wins everything in the game. So she's very traditional. And I think for me to be beat by a grappler, I asked for I asked for a rerun. I want to redo yeah. that yeah. fight. Obviously, mm-hmm. I can't do it against her. Yeah. So they've given me an opponent in which I'll be able to say to the fans, like, oh, well, I've done it. I've beat th- this style again. Mm, Even yeah. though most fighters I beat are that style, mm. it's like, oh, she can't beat a grappler. But then when I do beat her, it'll still be, you know, you know the conversation already. So you, oh. You've put yourself in that position to, to practice it again. We'll fight with someone who took you out. Just to be like, game. look, I, like, I, I put the Did you do that for you then? Or do you do it for everyone yeah, watching? Yeah, I do. I, I, it's a, a decision for myself. Do you know what I mean? There's been a lot of change in this camp for me. And it's like, this is for myself, normally a fight for everyone else. It's for Liverpool, it's for the city, it's for me, Jim, blah, blah, blah. This one's for me, this one's like... You can do I, it. I remember, like, yeah. Andy Gordon on. used to do it, and, like, um, Marcus Rashford done it. Like, like they just put the fingers in their ear, or they just put the head, the, 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 the hand there, the finger there, when they score, it's like, it's all in here, and I'm not listening to you. It's yeah, like, yeah. Mm. You are the fuel to me fire. Ultimately, I laugh at everything you say. And sometimes if I'm feeling like it's a bit down, I do go on like Twitter and that just to have a laugh. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because there's not like... Might write a few things like, to you fr- Yeah, exactly. like, yeah, no, yeah. but yeah. freaking out, like, like, when I do work with the charity, it's like, oh, look at her, just trying to, like, um, look, like, come across like she's a good person, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I've been doing this for years. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I've been doing yeah. this for nothing yeah. for years. What yeah. are you going on about? Mm. And then I just have to laugh because that's the kind of people you're dealing with. But, yeah, I feel like if you're fighting for the wrong reasons... It's not always the best. Like you were saying, you were forcing yourself to win that goal. But yeah. when you take the pressure off, it's probably the moment that you'll probably exactly. achieve it. Does, does it matter though? You talk there, you know, about the kind of the, the fight and your mindset and that sort of thing. Does it matter when you go into it, when you look at it and she's got a mixed record of 10 wins, eight defeats? Does that does that prey on your mind at all? Or it, it's, 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 she has a middling kind of career almost in that sense? I'm 14 or 13 wins and four defeats. 13 like, and five, yeah. Is it 13 yeah, five or 13 five? five yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, yeah. It's like, I have only lost to the best and so was she. Mm. And I think that, sometimes you know, how many is How many a... is that 19 fights? Yeah. How many, I've had 19 fights-ish. 18. 18, 18. 18. I've had 18 fights. 13 plus 5 is 18. There 18. you go, 18, yeah. Thank you. Quick maths. She's got she's good a quick maths. So for you, that would be the equivalent to winning 13 comps and losing 5. Is that a good... 
would that the be only good? thing in taekwondo is you could have four survive fights in one day, oh, in one day. Yeah. so like the world championships i'll have to have five fights yeah. to yeah. win if i yeah. lose one i'm it's out yeah it's like the, the competition i just went to i have to have three so it is a bit different you have yeah. longer rounds and stuff like yeah, that yeah. but yeah it's not but you can compete more I, often if i than actually what we got can. my record up like i don't know what it would be mm. There would, be, the there would be well, losses. Well, losses is always yeah. there. And like, you look at McGregor, I think he's on four or five. Yeah. Paddy's got three. Yeah. Everyone but I know has... You, a... I do know what you're trying to say, though, because in other sports, you could be ranked, yeah? And you'd be ranked lower. That doesn't mean that this person's not the best one right well, now. That's, that's what I'm saying. So like, does yeah. it matter when you look at your Numbers... record and yours is kind of on the positive edge of 13 Well, five, well so, she... do you know, like, well, in the UFC, obviously, you will always have a more positive record than not. Yeah. You just will, but... You look at someone like Jorge Masvidal or even Darren Till. You look at everyone. Everyone has a lot of losses. Yeah. Yes. But because you just game and you fight, mm. like that's what our sport's about. It, it is kind of who's got the biggest kahunis yeah, yeah. and who wants to just Moments. give it. And I don't believe records. I, I just don't even look at them because, yeah. you know, like it's like an FA Cup final every fight. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You've got two arms and two legs, two knees, two anyone elbows. Anyone can beat anyone, like any I said before. I've never supposed to win the fights that I've won. Do you know what I mean? So, um, but with your camp going forward, do you feel are you in camp I now? Are you ready? Think do you feel I, good? I'm eight weeks out. Sorry, lies. Nine weeks out. I generally believe I'll finish here within the first seven minutes. Good. So a round is five. If it gets out of the first round. Early second. Like, I, I really believe I'm going to stop with a body shot. Mm. That's what we want to hear. That's what we, we like to hear. To this one I'll, I'll be, I'll be going, definitely. We'll definitely be going.